Hi, I'm Kathy with Petit. I'm here with a Chow Chow expert, Jamie Gray, with Chows and Pals, and he is here to share with you what kind of dogs Chow Chows are, what kind of personalities they have, and what type of people they are best suited for. Hi, Jamie. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Well, my name is Jamie Gray, and I'm actually from Southwest Missouri. I fell in love with the Chow Chow breed with the very first one that I ever bought. He is the entire reason why I do what I do today. I am able to spread the Chow Chow love because of the love that I gained for the breed and the understanding that I gained for the breed with my very first one. They have such a bad stigma that surrounds their name that I got tired of being told that my dog was a bad dog. They're laid back, they're chill, you actually want to play with them more than they want to play with you. It's uh, kind of funny because they're about like a three-year-old kid on personality. They love to push your buttons, walk the line, test you. It's very important to make sure that you assert yourself as the alpha because if you don't, they will. So you must be strong-willed. You want to be almost kind of like military style on discipline where you're stern and then you ease up because if you let them do what they want, they will walk all over you, which is fine if you're gonna be okay with that type of a relationship with your dog. Most people are, but then they forget that when you try to take the alpha role from the alpha, they're not gonna just give it up. Because of that reasoning, they get a bad stigma because of people's lack of understanding of the breed. They're 10 weeks old and how big do they get? On average, they get about 50 to 70 pounds. Some of them will stay around 40 pounds. I've heard of some going all the way up to 120 pounds. Do you have any tips for people who want to own Chow Chows? If you want a dog that's low maintenance, other than the hair, low energy, don't need your attention 24 seven. The cleanest dog breed that there is, they are almost potty trained typically whenever you get them because they're that smart. Do not like to be dirty. Are they easy to potty train? Yes, as long as you do your due diligence and take them out. I always recommend crate training because it just teaches them to hold it easier. How easy is it for you to take care of these chow chows, grooming wise? Grooming is the biggest downfall of the chow chow breed. After you've owned one, the grooming in the hair is not an issue for you. After they've had the dog breed and they see how chill they are, laid back, low maintenance in every other area. They have two shedding periods, just like any typical uh, long-haired dog. They shed about the amount of a husky, but three chow chows is about the energy consumption of one husky. How long do they live for? Well, on average, they live for about 10 to 12 years. Big factor that a lot of people don't take into account if they're an inside dog or an outside dog. Inside dogs are always gonna live longer than outside dogs will because there's less variables for destruction. They're just a perfect dog for anybody that is looking for a companion. I mean, look at it, it looks like a little stuffed animal. You could use it for a pillow if you wanted to. How do you get a chow chow to respect you and what is the most humane way to let them show that you're the alpha? One thing that I do with my puppies, you simply take them, you put them on their back and they will, freak out because dogs initially do not like to be on their back. It's the most vulnerable position that they can be in and they get uncomfortable, they're afraid, they don't know what you're gonna do with it so they will freak out. And you just do with like what you would do with a kid with autism or Asperger's where if they start freaking out, you just apply a little bit of pressure and it actually decompresses the central nervous system and it allows them to calm down. And then you just pet them and tell them it's gonna be okay. You're fine, I'm not hurting you, you're good. And eventually they wear their little cute faces out and they submit. He's like, hi friends. Nice. Really what is the feeling people have when you deliver chow chows to them? The delivery part is actually my favorite part personally. You are bringing a family, their perfect puppy match that looks like a stuffed animal. So they get overwhelmed with emotion whenever they see their newest fur member that is at their front door delivered personally by me. I provide Chow Chow Consulting Service. I try to do my best on fitting my clients with not just a good puppy, not a great puppy, but 
their perfect puppy match in the sense of personality, color, sex, any quality trait that they seek in their newest fur member. I've worked with over 30 different breeders, 40 different bloodlines, 150 different puppies in a little under two years. It doesn't matter the genetics. With the proper training and the proper exposure therapy and tolerance training, any dog can be a good dog. There is no such thing as a bad dog. There's only bad breeders and bad owners. Thank you, Jamie, for sharing your knowledge with us about Chow Chows. Now we know what kind of personality they have and if they're the right type of dog for you. Right? I think they are. <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us for more possum videos. <laughs>